Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to be working on a Titan Weapon Bio Scrapper. Let me pick all the powers, slot everything up, and um, we'll talk about why I made what picks. And also, if you're looking for the build, it's down in the description, okay? So please, feel free to download it, follow along, and change whatever you think you might want to change. Because I, I pick powers based on what I like, but I also pick uh, certain powers based on how fast they are, how good they are for casting specific things or doing good damage all right here we go okay so I didn't go with the usual slotting that I always do on health and stamina because you have some healing powers in your build like a blade of carapace I put the preventative medicine there the full set the set is usually good so I go for all of it if possible um, I didn't put the numina on health instead I put the numina in inexhaustible and went after the health bonus for it so and I put a plus for endurance chance for plus endurance and a power transfer this proc is gonna keep you alive at some point so I'm telling you and I did it twice on stamina as well so feel free to use that the attacks I chose were crushing blow follow through rend armor whirling smash arc of destruction those are like the main ones you really want to have for this build. They're going to be your damage dealers all through. And I didn't go after all five sets of the recharge, but I did try to proc out Arc of Destruction. It's going to deal some sick damage. So go after that if you can, especially with build up on. It's 932 damage per second. Well, I'm sorry, damage in general. If I change it to per second. It's 104, which is amazing. <laughs> and yeah, so I got at least four sets of the recharge. One, two, three. Ah, I take it back. I do have five. Or four, I'm sorry. I, I do still have four. Crushing Blow is one. Follow Through, Rend Armor, Whirling Smash. Those are the four plus ten recharge bonuses. The proc for the chance for crit bonus, I put in follow through. It, follow through is one of your weaker ones, so it's okay to just put it on either crushing blow or follow through. Uh, for crushing blow, I put the superior strike because I'm going to be trying to get the momentum from it, and then using the critical hit bonus on either arc, uh, arc of destruction or um, whirling smash. Get some crits from one of those. Rend armor, I'm probably going to be using when I fight something big like a elite boss or an AV. So use that one first and then go in with either follow through or arc of destruction. This build, I would say if you really want to survive really well, try to herd everything up and attack them with everything that knocks them down. This is a tanky character, but at the same time, it's not super tanky, so don't think you can survive everything because they do not have mez protection, just mez resistance. Okay. Uh, genetic contamination, I put the damage endurance in there, plus it to 5. Get your endurance as low as possible because this will use up a good amount of endurance. And you do have an option to change your super jump if you want. It's up to you. I'd rather use super jump. But you could definitely change this to something else if you want. Feel free to pick some other power. But alright, real quick, let's get my Incarnates. Incarnate, I have for Alpha, I went with Vigor Core. Uh, for Destiny, Incandescence Radial. That's the one I always pick. You can choose whatever you want from Destiny. Uh, Ion Core is my normal. Hybrid Assault Radial for the energy. Interface Reactive Radial. For the extra fire damage proc and the 25% damage resistance reduction. And finally, the lore, I went with the Banished Pantheon Core. Okay. Uh, this build right now has all the accolades turned on, so that's why my HP is so high. Uh, if I drop it, it should be around 1900, 2000. So it's good enough though. Alright, let's go test it out. Okay guys, we're back, and pretty much my stats pretty much match everything. I slotted, I picked all my powers, uh, there you go, 
And there you go, HP is pretty much the same. Defense and resistance. Uh, and the recovery. Make sure you have all your toggles on. That's gonna keep you alive. And remember, those toggles will only get better as more people are around. I usually stay in um, aggressive stance, especially since it's a scrapper. Okay. I got all my incarnates uh, just to make sure, you know, vigor and everything. And that's pretty much it. Let's go test it. Alright, remember guys, this is not a tank, so don't expect to be able to handle like multiple mobs at the same time. Sure, you can survive with DNA siphon and everything, but yeah, don't try to be the hero and tank everything. So, uh, I usually like to start out with Rend Armor, then use Whirling Smash to knock them down. If you can, try to get them all together to herd them a little bit. It should be alright. Keep those attacks going until everything's dead, you know, you don't want to get hit too much. Remember, you're not a tank. You do not have protection to mess, just resistance. So you can get stunned in the middle of a fight. But just keep attacking, keep going. If you need uh, some endurance, use DNA Siphon, but for the most part this build should be able to handle it. So. Uh, remember, you have the option of going for musculature if you want, but I prefer vigor for the accuracy. But definitely musculature will give you that little extra damage boost, especially with uh, Arc of Destruction using procs. Alright, let's go try fighting the elite boss. Okay, I'm going to try to clear these mobs first. The one's uh, near the elite boss. I'm sure I'll probably grab her aggro in a second. <laughs> but make sure you focus on them, knock them down as much as possible. That'll help you stay alive longer because these guys will go through everything. They are plus four and they are bosses, so you want to keep them busy trying to get up. Spam your attacks, spam everything you got. And like I said, this is a trying to survive kind of build, so don't expect to live through everything. If you need B, use some inspirations to help you, to keep you alive, because sometimes they will go through your stuff. And here we go. Mind you, she's lowering your defense by attacking you, so the other guys around are probably going to get a good hit on you. So, try to keep uh, damaging as much as possible, keep a blade of care pace up, and just keep on attacking. But, pretty much that's it. Please, let me know what you think of the build. Uh, see if you could let me know in the, uh, down in the comment section. Tell me if you do have any suggestions on how we could improve it, maybe make it a little bit better. Yeah, I'd gladly take any advice. And... Please, uh, feel free to take the build, it's in down under the description. And hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much. See you guys next time.